And let's talk about getting married. The 2014 edition of the Joy of Beauty and Bridal Fair has opened in Accra. The four-day event at the Accra International Conference Center has over 50 exhibitors showcasing everything needed for a wedding. Your dream wedding from planning to execution. The Joy FM Beauty and Bridal Fair has over the years grown to become the most trusted one-stop shop for many prospective couples. As has been the norm over the years, an official couple exchange vows on behalf of the patrons, exhibitors, and organizers. With all your heart and in all honesty, to make the Joy FM Beauty and Bridal Fair your one-stop shop, Oh, yeah. <laughs> With respect to your wedding, your marriage, and the building of your home, you pledge to uphold it in high esteem and celebrate it thereon. If you do, the four of you answer in unison, yes, we do. Everybody join in on this one. The bridal fair, which runs from July 10 to 12, is not meant for just the singles. Married couples also get to benefit from the popular marriage seminar, which was seasoned speakers lined up for this year's edition. The fair may just be opening, but we ask some ex beaters about their expectations. Um, bridal fair has always been an exciting thing for us. We've been coming for the last few years, and just as we always enjoy it, we are just expecting exactly the same thing, to have fun with our customers, to have fun with people who will come. Some people will even come to us as their first experience. Of first and foremost, I expect the um, attendance to be great. And um, the bottom line is also land a lot of um, orders from the show. Yeah. We want to sell Africa. We wish and we hope that everybody that comes here has something like that in mind so we can sell our continent. So, if you're hoping to get married sometime before the end of the year, this is certainly an opportunity you will not want to miss. Right, and I understand the marriage seminar is uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m. at the Accra International Conference Center where the event is underway. In the meantime, you can go there today if you haven't figured out what your dream wedding should be. Uh, it's, it's probably a very, very, very good time to go there and, and uh, have the plan. I understand that this marriage seminar will cost 10 CDs. And uh, Reverend Kisi Eju will be there to uh, t take us through it. There will be uh, Ebo White as well. I'm sure you would want to hear a few things from uh, Uncle Ebo White. And um, the multimedia crew will be there. So you'd want to pass through and, and see some faces, especially from Joy FM. That's it for uh, we wedding planners and wedding stories. And uh, I would want to go to Facebook, read a few of the messages just before I go. Salem A. Carlin says, isn't today a Friday? Uh, they will wear it because... Um, let me get that again. They will wear it because they have funeral to attend, not to the Flagstaff house. I see. Pope John Frank Quay says, Hashtag Red Friday is for Ghanaians everywhere to peacefully demand action and accountability from our government. Hashtag Red Friday is to encourage Ghanaians everywhere, including those airlifted by government to Brazil, to seek political and economic asylum that they should love their country and not fear the government. Spread the word about Red Friday to your friends and your family members so they can join. Red Friday means you should wear anything red. Thank you. Say to Sunday, Yakubu says, it will only be good when it's not politically motivated. Chromosomes Danny Bruti thinks that it's a good idea since the government has been asleep for long and still in first year. Atta J.B. Patrick says, in fact, it is a step in the right direction. It should be continued every Friday until President Mahama and his official step down. If not, Arab Spring will be the next tactic. I hope not, though. Sadie Samar says, hashtag Red Friday. They should just bring back uh, Ghana. Musa Ali Khan says, it's fine. The Vodafone agents, Vodafone, really? Not here. Richard Kuma says, Ghana's government has said the country has no religious violence after 200 Ghanaian World Cup fans asked for asylum in Brazil. Absolutely so. 
the funds uh, will leave that for another time. Nana Kwame Eninfo says it's a step in the right direction. President Mahama and his cabinet must wake up. They've been sleeping on the job for quite too long. Hashtag Red Friday. I'll end with Bridget who said it's not called for. Thank you all very much for those comments. Totally appreciated here on Newsdesk. That'll be all for the year. Uh, at midday, I'll have a conversation with the BDC and find out if you and I cannot feel our, our cast in a few uh, days to come. I'll see you then on Newsdesk. My name is Kimberly.